Good morning, beautiful ones. I'm going to be showing you guys how I put this look together. So if you want to see how I did this, then keep watching. Don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button. If you want to get alerted when I make a new video, then go ahead and click the little bell down there. Click that. Anyways, let's hop right into this. Oh, guys, it's Monday morning right now. We are currently in quarantine still. Cleaning, taking care of the kiddos. Um, we just finished breakfast. I'm just going to take you through my makeup routine. From this drop fit. To fabulous. Hopefully. I already have a um, moisturizer on. Also, sorry for my ratchet nails. I just don't even have time right now to do them. I've been trying this thing that I've seen going around YouTube and TikTok where you put on powder before your foundation. But I've been doing that and I actually really like it. So, but this is primer and I'm using this new one from Benefit that I got. When it goes on your skin, it feels really like smooth. Like your skin feels like super smooth. It like fits in all those little like crevices. And it really is. It says the poor professional. <laughs> Some people like to go in with um, a translucent powder, but not me because I'm different and weird. So I'm using already a pigmented powder. I mean, on me it kind of looks translucent to be honest. I also really don't like to go on my forehead too much, so I try to like blend it up a little bit and then not go up so far because I feel like when makeup's on your forehead it just creases and makes you look super old or at least me i just feel like it looks better when I'm, it's not on my forehead i think cakey is not cool so i like to go for like a little bit more dewy look but i use the creaseless kind and it's not my favorite i like the one that's more matte but and then i broke the jar of course so well obviously under eye like that I will do looks like before I blend it. Beauty blender and I'll wet it first. The reason I wet it is because then the product doesn't absorb into the sponge as much and it just spreads the product a lot better. Bouncing it, not smearing is the key, which I know everyone says and I'm not a beauty guru. I'm just a girl who loves makeup. Um, if I am in my pajamas all day and I just don't look nice and I just feel crappy like I really am not as productive at all and I know that's psychological but hey I'll take whatever help I can get I'm gonna take some setting spray um, I am just using Urban Decay's setting spray right now and I'm just gonna I'm to dry that it's really important that it dries um, because before you put the next layer on it needs to be dry and I wish I had a fan, but I don't, so I'm using my hands like a crazy person. Okay. I am going to use my CC cream. Here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, little here. Yeah, that's good. And I do the same thing to my neck, so like, I'll just like take it. And, but my foundation really does match my neck color pretty well. So I don't worry about it too much. Right now I have a ring light and it's like blasting my face so it might look a little bit different. But in real life, I don't always do, but I'm gonna do it today. Just contour my face to look better. Who doesn't need some contour in their life? Cream contours are my jam. It's called Sleek Makeup, and it's just like, it's it's pretty cheap, but it's the only one I could find. So my nose, like, it has like this little bump right here, and then it's wider on the base, but it's not too wide up here. But I, I don't do that thing where people just do straight line down, straight line down. That doesn't work for my nose. It just kind of looks like, bleh. like it just drew straight line down. So what I want to do is the first thing I do is I make a straight line right here, like a horizontally, like that. 
And what that's going to do is it's going to make it look like my nose now goes upwards, okay? A little V to make my nose look pointier. So I don't follow the natural line of my nose, I create it. Um, because if you just follow the, line on the, the natural line of your nose, if you don't like the natural line of your nose, then it's just gonna, it's not gonna work. It's just gonna look like your natural line, like you just enhanced it. Little L here, a tiny L. We're a loser for doing this. No, just kidding. Light shade. I put the light shade down the center. Take out the harsh lines from it. But I don't want to like blend all of it away because clearly we put it on there for a reason, people. Soap, brush. Mix, mix, let it dry. Brush your eyebrows up, 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 up. Get those eyebrows lifted up. I'm trying to fluff them out. Now let this dry. I'm doing really simple eyes. I basically, all I want to do is make the outside of my eyes appear more pulled out a little bit foxy just a little foxy not too much you know a little a slanted brush it doesn't matter what kind of brush just a little slant and i'm gonna get some brown 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 right here and i'm going to place that on the corner the corner starting here and then going slightly up very soft and making like a little cat eye right there. A light color, like this peach color here. And I'm going to fluff that all over the lid. Hi, Hi Kenna. Stickers. Mommy. What is it, baby? The bathroom. Yeah. Light transition color here, and I'm going to take that from the corner and I'm going to bring it not all the way. Oh, my little girl's here, so and, and I'm not going to take it all the way out, I'm just going to bring it like to the middle. Okay, hi, hi, wave hi, hi, her hair is crazy. But that's okay. She's a two. Now my eyebrows are done. My eyes are done for the most part. I'm going to put some um, Iconic London Liquid Illuminator. I'm going to squeeze some. to curl my lashes really quick. Hello lashes from Mommy. Mama. Let me try that again. Mommy. Okay. Okay. Hello lashes. I'm gonna take the lashes to the side. So no. I want them to go out and up. Cover fix to just set underneath my eyes. A blush, mineral blush. Hula bronzer. Hmm? Fishy face? Mine. Hmm? Mine. I don't really have a huge forehead. Actually, I have a small forehead, but I think it looks nice when it's blended all in. I just jaw and the light kind of circle. Just circles. I'm almost done. Couple steps. So I'm using Kylie lip liner and I'm gonna line my lips. Mm -hmm. Over, over, but I do go right to the very edge to make sure it looks really nice and full. And do the bottom. It's like a lip gloss with lip pumper in it um, by Iconic London. It's pink. Just gonna put that on. 
I'm using IT Cosmetics Superhero Liner, and it really is the awesome, like, I just love this liner. Some more setting spray. Again, with my hands, like a crazy person. The way my eyes are shaped here and just full brows. And now I'm ready to go on with the rest of my day and go to the living room because I can't go anywhere today. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>